The Chinese Shar Pei, or just Shar Pei, is a breed of dog famously known for their short, bristly coat, loose skin, cute wrinkles, and of course their blue, black tongues. That's right, a Shar Pei's tongue is a blue, black in color, and the only other dog to have this tongue color is the Chow Chow. While many people think that the dark colored tongue apparently makes these dogs more ferocious, others believe that this kind of tongue can ward off evil spirits when the dog barks. The Shar Pei is surely an interesting looking dog, and their looks alone are enough to prompt many wannabe owners to choose this breed. But there's more to the Sharpe than their unique appearance. Intelligent, loyal, and fiercely protective, these guys make good guardian dogs. They also possess a calm and confident demeanor that makes them excellent family companions. So without further ado, let's dive right into our list of top 10 interesting facts about the Chinese Sharpe. But before we start our list, we'd like to take a moment to express our thanks to all the original Sharpe owners on this video. The video would seriously not have been possible without them. So don't forget to check out these incredible dogs from their Instagram profiles that have been linked in the description below. And now now, let's begin the list. Number 1. Their History Once considered one of the rarest dog breeds in the world, the Chinese Shar Pei began enjoying great popularity from the late 20th century when their numbers started growing significantly in the US. But they were originally bred by peasants to perform tasks including hunting, herding, and guarding livestock against predators and thieves. The Shar Pei is thought to be descended from the Han Dog, an ancient guarding breed that lived in China around 2000 years ago during the Han Dynasty. The Han Dog gave rise to two different breeds, one a heavier, bulkier dog which went on to become the Chow Chow and a smaller wrinkled dog used for fighting, which became the Shar Pei. Shar Pei's, along with other Chinese dog breeds, were nearly wiped out in the late 1940s by the Chinese Communist Party, which disapproved of keeping dogs as pets. The then government levied high taxes on dogs and eventually banned dog breeding. But breeders in surrounding regions, notably Matt Go Law, a breeder from Hong Kong, were able to preserve the breed and eventually rebuild their numbers. Matt Go also introduced Shar Pei's to American breeders in 1966 to save the breed from extinction. The breed's documented US history began in the mid-1960s, but American interest in the breed truly began in 1973. Fancied by many American dog lovers, Chinese Shar Pei's became extremely popular in the 1980s. The AKC recognized Shar Pei's as an official breed in 1992. Number 2. They were used as fighting dogs The Shar Pei, also known as the Chinese fighting dog, were used by locals in China for dog fighting. One of the reasons why they were used as fighting dogs was because of their skin. The wrinkled skin along with the bristly coat was an intentional characteristic to give them an advantage in fights by protecting their vital organs. Not just that, even their opponent would find it hard to get a good grip on them or cause serious injury. Well, there are two kinds of Shar Pei's. One is known as the Bone Mouth Shar Pei and the other is known as the Meat Mouth Shar Pei. The most striking difference between these two is their muzzle. The Bone Mouth Shar Pei, which was most commonly used in dog fighting, doesn't have pudding over its nose and its cheeks aren't that fleshy. The Bone Mouth Shar Pei's also don't have anything between their jaws and teeth, which is why their bites are more effective and powerful compared to the Meat Mouth Shar Pei's. But having said that, even outside the fighting ring, because of the unique shape of their face, front positioned ears, and curled up tail, many other dog breeds considered this as an attack position, so it's really common for other dogs to come running to a Shar Pei to attack if they're not used to one or well socialized. Number 3. Their Unique Appearance The Chinese Shar Pei is a solid mass of loose wrinkles with folds of skin that make them look like they're wearing a bulky, oversized suit. They're also recognizable by their small sunken eyes with a scowling expression and triangular ears sat atop a large, powerful head. These guys have a broad hippopotamus muzzle, short nose, and a bluish-black tongue that make them even more unique in the dog world. They are squarely built and short-coupled and look powerful with good bones. The finishing touch is a thick, round tail that curls over their back. As puppies, the breed's wrinkly skin skin is reminiscent of the chubby folds of a human baby. Although heavily wrinkled as a puppy, they lose most of their creases except those on the head, face, and shoulders as they mature. The Chinese Shar Pei is of medium size and stands 18 to 20 inches to the shoulder and weighs 45 to 60 pounds. Number 4. Their Personality Shar Pei's are strong, regal, and dependent guardians famous for their intelligence and loyalty. They possess a calm and devoted nature that makes them loving companions. They tend to be aloof with strangers but are fiercely loyal and affectionate with their own people and love to spend time in the company of their families. Their aloofness makes them suspicious of strangers and other dogs so they may meet a perceived threat with tenacity and vigor. Since Shar Pei's are also strong-willed dogs, their personality may overwhelm an unprepared pet parent. This also means that these sturdy dogs need confident owner who's had experience with fighting dogs. Number 5. 
They make excellent watchdogs. The Sharpe was once a guard dog and pit fighter. Today, they are primarily companions, although they have retained their fighting toughness. The breed's heritage as a guardian and fighting dog makes them an excellent watchdog and guard dog, so much so that they must be taught not to overreact to people and animals they don't know. So it's imperative that your Sharpe be socialized and trained from an early age. Their propensity for aggressiveness toward other dogs also means they should always be kept on a leash and allowed near strange dogs only under strict supervision. Early socialization can help them learn to get along with other pets. Providing them with socialization and obedience training as puppies can also make them easier to handle. Number 6. Their Exercise Needs Sharpays are laid-back, low-energy dogs, which means they don't need much exercise. Because they don't require much exercise, they can make great apartment dogs. Just keep in mind that they need short walks to stretch their legs if a backyard isn't available. Although Sharpays are not flat-faced like bulldogs or pugs, but they do have shorter than normal noses and are considered brachycephalic. Because of this, Sharpays don't do well with vigorous exercise like running or jogging. Number 7. Their Sandpaper Coat the breed's name Sharpe literally means sand skin in Mandarin, which refers to the short, bristle-like coat. The coat comes in several colors including cream, red, or chocolate. It tends to stand up straight along the main trunk but lies flatter along the limbs and tail. The American Kennel Club identifies two acceptable coat lengths, the extremely short horse coat and the slightly longer brush coat, which is no longer than an inch at the withers. Number 8. Their Grooming Requirements Grooming is a breeze with the Sharpe. The short coat is extremely easy to groom. It only requires brushing once a week to remove shedding hair, dirt, and excess dander. Since the breed is naturally clean, frequent bathing is not necessary or recommended. They only need bathing once every few months unless they get excessively dirty. After bathing, take the time to thoroughly dry between their folds and wrinkles to prevent a fungal infection. With all those wrinkles, however, your Sharpe can become prone to skin problems, so extra attention and care may be needed in that area. You'll also want to gently wipe their ears quickly and check them for signs of infection such as odor or redness. Number 9. Their Training Sharpays have a dominant streak, which is why they need a confident, assertive pet parent to be their teacher. Early training is essential for this strong-willed breed. Their trainer should have the ability to establish leadership firmly and kindly, as these dogs tend not to respect the owner who doesn't do so. Sometimes, Sharpays can also be stubborn and a bit too smart, thinking of new ways to do things you may not be thrilled with. But training is generally easy as long as they're not showing their stubborn streak. The good news is that the Sharpe is intelligent and eager to please their pet parents, which makes them fairly easy to train. Consistency is key to successfully make your Sharpe oblige to your commands and to prevent them from unlearning your tricks. Number 10. Their Health The Chinese Sharpe is generally a healthy breed that has an average lifespan of 11 to 12 years. But there are some unusual and specific health concerns in the breed. One of the major problem areas is their eyes. Eye disorders like entropion, glaucoma, retinal dysplasia, and SARDs have been known to occur in the breed. Obesity can also be a significant health problem in Chinese Sharpe's. It is a serious disease that may cause or worsen joint problems, metabolic and digestive disorders, back pain, and heart disease. Other conditions that can occur include respiratory, cardiovascular, and musculoskeletal issues along with immune-mediated gastrointestinal and skin disorders. So make sure you take your Sharpe to the vet regularly for health checkups. The breed is also susceptible to overheating due to their short nose, so don't forget to keep them inside with fans or air conditioning during hot summer months. Stay extra vigilant to ensure that they don't overheat in warm weather, especially in high humidity. Alright folks, with that we've come to the end of our list of top 10 interesting facts about the Chinese Sharpe. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you already own one of these fascinating dogs, do let us know about their unique traits in the comments below. Please leave a thumbs up and share the video if you liked it. For more interesting facts and different dog breeds, click on our channel and don't forget to subscribe. See you guys in the next one.